Welcome to Highline BI 348 class video number 59. Hey, in this video, we want to talk about what happens if we can't get a solution. Now, this is the example we did in video 57 and 58. We got an optimal solution using linear algebra in video 57 by finding the intersecting lines and the vertice for our feasible region. All the potential solutions that meet all the constraints are in this region, but out on the vertice, that was the optimal solution. We also saw this problem using Excel, and we solved, and Excel told us at x equals 120, that's the number of laptops sold for laptop number one, and at units of 100 for laptop two, we're going to get our optimal solution of 10,400. But sometimes Excel Solver will not give us an answer. And so we need to look at three special cases and the error message we will get from Excel Solver. All right, let's go to our next slide because we're going to see special case number one. It's called infeasibility. Now look at this chart right here. And in particular, look at here's our equations. And notice for each one of these, we have a comparative operator that's pointing in a particular direction. So the y value says, hey, if we're going to find a solution, it's got to be all the y's up here. The gray line says, hey, we got to find something this direction. So that means potential solutions are up here. But notice we have one, two, three other lines. Arrow, arrow, arrow. They're pointing in. That means one, two separate regions with no overlap. The message you'll get in Solver will say, could not find a feasible solution. Now, what does this mean? That means, given the set of constraints and all of your inputs for your formulas, you're not going to have a solution. Perhaps you have to re-examine your constraints, like this line. Maybe you need to push it down. Maybe it means that there actually is no solution because the constraints cannot be moved. Hey, that's situation number one, infeasibility. Let's look at the next slide. Situation number two, unbound. Look at this chart. We have these lines here, and we can see that this one's pointing down, this one's pointing up, and this one's pointing to the side. What does that mean? It means our potential solutions go on forever. The arrow just keeps pointing. It's called unbound. In general, it probably means you have forgotten a constraint. So maybe you need to add a constraint back in. The message you'll get in Solver, the objective cell range does not converge. Now, special case number three, we have to first talk about what's called an optimal objective function contour line. Now notice, we got our solution x equals 120, y equals 100, and the amount was 10,400. But if you set the original objective function exactly equal to the optimal solution, that means we can get many possible combinations of x and y to give us our 10,400. If we plot that line, that's called the function contour line. And that's going to be important to understand because when we look at our third situation, and here it is. We have a set of constraints, and we've plotted them. But notice, here's our contour line. And when I plot it, it's exactly on top of one of the constraint lines. That means, boom, I have many possible optimal solutions. If I were to go from this point to this point, many different x and y combinations will give us our optimal solution. Now, a couple of videos ahead, we'll look at a situation like this and see how to find a possible alternative solution. If you go to slide 27, here are our steps that we'll use a couple of videos ahead to find our alternative optimal solution. All right, so this video, we talked about alternative optimal solutions. We talked about unbound, and then and we talked about infeasibility. All right, next video, we're going to use Excel Solver 
to solve a transportation shipping cost problem where our optimal solution will be a minimum cost. All right, we'll see you next video.